Hey, so it's hot out. This is how you are because it's really hot in Toronto. We probably shouldn't complain though because we were all wishing for hot and sunny on Saturday when Edgefest was happening. But uh, we didn't let the rain stop us. And Edgefest was, if you haven't heard, awesome. It wasn't even that bad really, the rain, if you think about last year when there was like lightning and people were all huddled under tents. So, hey, this year we got it off easy. Anyway, I just want to talk about Edgefest, Edgefest for a second. This was my second Edgefest, and I have to say that, personally, I preferred this year's lineup, uh, in general, than over last year's. I think because, mostly because it was a lot of Canadian music. Almost all Canadian music. Um, I can't really pick a favorite, but if I had to choose, I would pick four from the main stage. My favorites are Metric, Arkells. Alex on Fire and Chaos. Um, but they were all really good. It's like impossible to pick any favorites. The side stage was really good too. Um, they're all great, but one that really stood out for me was uh, Cancer Bats. Holy crap. Uh, I've like heard of them before, but I've never seen them live. Liam Cormier, I think it's pronounced Cormier. I hope so, or else I might look like a big jerk right now. Sorry, Liam, if I look like a jerk um, for mispronouncing your last name. He was, like, on the crowd, like, jumped out onto them. It was so great. I don't know. It was, I love it when bands, like, get so into it like that. It was wicked. So I'm definitely going to try to catch them next time they play somewhere near me. Um, oh, I wanted to give a shout-out to two people that I saw that uh, I know watch this. Uh, William has gone. And Bowman, who's in the band Stereo Hoax, who I introduced last year at Edgefest, and who gave, who I actually uh, want to let you know, is a really, pretty seriously impressive artist. I'll throw his link under my blog, and uh, you should check it out because he's he's awesome. Um, so yeah, it's good to see you. Anyway, uh, North by Northeast also happened this weekend. I really couldn't make it out as much as I wanted to. But uh, I did get on Friday night. I went to see the Black Lips at Dundas Square. And uh, I went to see Modern Boys, Modern Girls at Sneaky D's. And they were awesome. They are so catchy. They also played last year's Edge Fest. And they have one song. I, I think it's... I don't want to say it wrong. It's uh, Boy Don't You Ever Go. I think that's what... I'll throw a, another link to that underneath my blog as well. It's so good. I've been singing it for like the last... As long as it has been since Saturday. So the last like five days. It's really awesome. So it was a pretty busy weekend. Uh, this weekend I'm actually going out to the country to have a garage sale with my mom. And uh, so that should be fun. And I'm going to Stouffville. Part of the reason we're doing our garage sale this weekend is because in Stouffville it's uh, our annual strawberry festival. That's right. It's the event you don't want to miss. The event of the summer. The strawberry festival on Main Street of Stouffville. Coming this weekend. It's pretty happening. Stop by for some homemade jam. And Canada Day is also next week. Thank goodness the LCBO did not go on strike. We would have had some really, really angry Canada Day celebrations, I think. I actually went to stock up. I waited in line for like half an hour. I felt like kind of a dork this morning when I found out they weren't doing it. But, hey, now I have a lot of rum. Um, so that's good, I guess. Uh, so let me know what you're doing for Canada Day. Let me know how you're celebrating. I don't really know where the best fireworks display in Toronto is, so if you do, let me in on it. I want to know. So, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to go lie on the basement floor now because it's so hot, and I have a feeling that might be the only way to get cold. So good luck with, with staying cool during this heat wave. Bye.